In 2026, new regulations will be introduced in the F1, like aerodynamic disaster. This season for Mercedes, these new regulations could change things for many teams in the F1, as to who gets it right and can capitalize on these changes. FIA has stated four main reasons for introducing these changes that we will cover in this video. But before we get into that, just a reminder to hit that subscribe button below to stay with our channel for further uploads during the entirety of this 2022 season. After more than 12 months of controversy, F1's power unit regulations for 2026 are finally ready. The question is, will these be backed by Porsche or Audi? Or will the two brands pull out of this race? In October 2019, before COVID, F1's new age regulations were presented to all the teams by the FIA with a validity period from 2021 to the end of 2024. The current hybrid engine formula will remain in place until then, as it will be accompanied by a series of changes to chassis regulations, including a series of green initiatives to reduce F1's carbon footprint, which was expected so far so good. Then a pandemic struck, and F1's best plans were halted. The existing chassis regulations were extended by over a year with minimal changes for cost reasons, and this shortened the life of the new regulations by one year. The engine regulation remained in limbo until Honda announced its withdrawal. Suddenly, there's a new impetus to attract new entrants so that Formula 1 does not have to be left to the mercy of one or two aggregate suppliers. The initiative coincided with the arrival of Stefano Domenicali as F1 CEO from VW Group subsidiary Lamborghini. The Italian was therefore tasked with convincing Porsche and Audi that F1 represented the perfect combination of technical challenge and marketing podium for the brand. The summit at Spielberg on the weekend of the Austrian Grand Prix in July 2021 was attended by CEOs of Mercedes, Ferrari, Renault, Porsche, and Audi, while Honda was represented by his racing team Red Bull. According to the FIA, the main aim of the new regulations is simple. It's to continue adding to the thrill and excitement during a race weekend. The proposed framework included four main areas of improvement. Number 1. Setting an engine cost cap and allowing newcomers a number of financial aid e operational exemptions. Number 2. MGUH exhaust power energy recovery systems were prohibited for reasons of cost and complexity. Number 3. I slash hybrid power contribution will be around 50 50 instead of 75 25. Number 4. CO2 free fuel will be mandated and it was to be introduced in 2026. Porsche and Audi have conditionally granted overall framework approval and board approval to both brands. Audi has brought out McLaren and Sauber outright, and Porsche has reportedly signed a 50% deal for him from Red Bull. Both are off the point mainly because they were frameless and failed to define their brand. Despite this, brands regularly made warm comments about joining F1, but as those in the paddock know, there's always been an if with F1 spelled backwards. Porsche and Audi have regularly reaffirmed their intention to enter Formula 1 while loudly declaring that the watch is counting backwards, while a series of technical, sporting, and financial power unit regulations, a final decision has been repeatedly postponed. This was music to the ears of existing PU suppliers, who doubled down on their tactics, and the Volkswagen Group underestimated the number of bastards here in Formula 1. Commented the team boss sarcastically, Audi and Porsche announced their intentions to enter F1 too clearly too early, and too enthusiastically. All technical differences are significantly smaller than originally stated, allowing incumbent driver unit manufacturers to adopt larger parts while newcomers have to develop a completely new power unit in a shortened time frame. Red Bull's engine operations, which began preparations over a year ago, are either under the umbrella of Porsche or his RBPT. Audi has not yet established an F1 standard engineering or operational structure and has not made significant expenditures. Worse, as far as we know, they haven't run a concept engine nor have any seasoned F1 heavyweights on the spot. A project for sister brand Porsche is indeed underway, but Audi's program is in relative decline. To stay up to date with all of Formula 1's news, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.